Hey there, friends. I got great news for those of you who like to pray and even for those of you who don't like to pray but would like to like to pray. <laughs> you know, you get points for that too. You know, it's the same with, you know, same with loving God. I used to pray and I used to say, God, I don't love you, but I'd really like to love you. Uh, uh, would you help me? Would you give me a love for you? And he did. You know, you know, God actually is the one who gives us the desires of our heart. So if you love God with all of your heart, you don't even get points for that because it's God who gave you the love for him. All right. He gets all the glory. Okay. God, it takes God to love God. Well, I want you to know it takes God to pray to God as well. And if you have a passion for prayer, it's because God has anointed you for it. He's given that to you. He's put a spirit of prayer on you. And uh, if you don't have a passion for prayer, it's not because God doesn't want you praying. It's because you're missing out on something and you need to start contending for it, asking. We are, you are not going to reach your full potential in life if you are not a praying person. And so begin to ask God, give me a hunger for prayer. Give me a passion for prayer. Release a spirit of prayer on my life. Charles Finney used to talk about that. When there was no spirit of prayer, it was just, it was so bored. It never, the prayer meetings would never take off. But when a spirit of prayer fell on a person, Suddenly that person could pray with fervency for hours and time would just fly by. It would seem like nothing. Uh, well, friends, God's releasing a spirit of prayer on the earth right now because he's planning on pouring out another mighty end time revival with glory and healings and miracles and the kind of stuff that you've only read about. And I believe stuff you haven't even read about. God's going to do things in our day that will absolutely blow your mind, but he's going to do them through a set apart contending people who say yes to him, who are willing to pay a price. And a big part of that price is prayer. God works through people who pray. And so here's my big announcement. We're going to start praying every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. All right. Tuesday at 7 p.m. We're starting a prayer meeting in Drayton. Now, I know many of you who kind of follow us and follow our ministry are from far away. I'm not expecting you to drive every Tuesday, but I, I definitely wanted to get this message out, especially to those of you who live close enough in our area or those of you who have said, just tell me if you're gathering. I want to know. Maybe you'll come once in a while. Maybe you'll come for a drive once a month. But uh, we are starting a revival prayer meeting, and we are going to contend for breakthrough in this nation. We're also going to do a lot of intercession and uh, stand in the gap for a nation that is lost in sin, that is that is broken, and that needs uh, that needs to repent. We are as intercessors. We're going to do the intercession. Maybe you say, "I don't know how that works." We'll teach you. We'll teach you. Maybe you've never been a praying person, but you want to be. Come. You will learn. Learn from people who are hungry and pressing in. I'm so excited about uh, Nathan and Grace Jesperson who have just moved to Drayton Valley. They have an anointing for prayer, a passion for prayer. Uh, Nathan used to actually live at IHOP. Nothing makes him happier than being in a prayer room. And uh, God sent them to Drayton Valley. They literally moved here a week ago. And when they did, it, I've been wanting to start this prayer meeting actually for months. I've been feeling like, how can we, we can't believe for revival if we don't have a prayer meeting. You can't have revival without prayer. But I never had permission to start a weekly prayer meeting. And the day after Nathan and Grace arrived, there was just something in my spirit like the Lord say, now it's time. Hit the gas pedal on this one. And so we are starting prayer meetings every Tuesday Seven o'clock. Now, we haven't built the altar yet in the wilderness. That's where eventually we will meet. And I haven't even quite finished our prayer cabin, which would seat about 30 of us. So if it's a small group of, of intercessors, in about a month and a half, we'll have that prayer cabin finished out in the woods, and we might just meet there. But in the meantime, uh, my good friends, Pastor Mark and Leanne Eshelman from Ignited Church in Drayton Valley, they've said, Steve, if you want to plan your prayer meeting, have it at our church on Tuesday nights. We're, we don't have anything going on Tuesday night. You can have the sanctuary. And so that's where we're meeting right now. 
and uh, and we had a I just had a little group last Tuesday with a few people that I invited, and the presence of the Lord showed up. It was a powerful, powerful time. So I've been excited about uh, getting the word out. Hey, our prayer meeting is now open to all, and so if you want to come. We invite you to come pray with us, contend with us, get a breakthrough for your own life, get a breakthrough in this nation. God responds when people pray, and I'm inviting you to pray with us Tuesday, 7 o'clock at Ignited Church. I hope to see you there.